Hey guys, I've seen quite a few people asking about how to do this in the group, so I thought I'd put together a patch um, and share it with you guys. So the idea is you have a rect that's like a certain size and you want to fit a texture in it. Um, usually the camera texture, um, which is a little bit difficult because it can be different sizes. It's not a predefined size. It's going to be different on uh, a lot of devices and it's hard to account for everything. So this will help you um, make sure there's no like clipping on the edges and like holes. Like if you have a border on it, you don't want like a big missing chunk on the edge. Um, so that's the basic idea. Uh, and this patch takes a texture, a texture size, which is the screen size. We're using camera texture. Um, the rect scale is just the scale of your rect. So uh pop in the scale node and then connect it and it just copies these numbers it's just for like making sure these two things are in sync because if they're out of sync it will uh, look stretched and that's not what you want so if you notice when i have the like the this like long wide piece it will scale up um horizontally i guess so the the edges of the camera are on the edges, or the, the left and right of the camera are, are on the left and right of the texture. But if I kind of change this, if I change the aspect ratio so that it's thin and wide, you'll see it does something different. So where the, the top and bottom of the camera are the top and bottom of the rect, and that's how it scales up. <clears throat> So if you want to control like where in the viewport you are, I'm gonna make this pretty skinny just to illustrate. Um, so right now the top and the bottom are like aligned on the two textures. Um, and then we have extra room on the left and the right in this uh, rectangle. So the offset is going to change like the left and right position. So 0.5 is going to be the middle. Uh, zero is going to be the left, and then one will be the right. And if you go further than that, you'll see like weird glitchy stuff happen. So um, that's pretty cool and handy and stuff. If you want um, like a, a set scale rectangle, and it doesn't matter a whole lot like where it is on the screen, um, you can do like alignment stuff. With this, uh, but if you want to control like a percentage, um, like if you wanted this to be uh, twenty percent of the width of the screen and then fill the whole side, do that. Um, so I'm going to take this away and show this one. So I've already kind of set it up. Um, this time I've got the size patch typed in just so we can change the actual like pixel values uh, down here. So to get the, the canvas pixel values, you will divide the screen size by the screen scale and then um, whatever values you pipe in here will actually be correct. Uh, so then I'm going to multiply the uh, canvas pixels, like one and one is going to be 100%. So you can see that rectangle fills the whole screen now. But if I only want like a third of the screen filled, I would type in 0.3 there. And then I can change the offset. Uh, so like zero, you're not going to be able to see anything because it's left aligned and it's also offset zero. So that's all the way on the left. Um, Yeah, so not too crazy. You're just using size instead of scale. Um, one thing I want to know, you, you can use pinning and like alignment. Uh, let's see, middle. Um, you can use pinning and alignment, but not flexibility because flexibility is pretty much doing what we're doing here. Um, it, it's just like if I want a vertical flexibility, I'm just going to set Y to 1. And that's going to fill the height of the screen. Um, 
yeah, so that's it. Uh, this project will be up on GitHub. Um, Spark Fit Direct. Uh, you can download it with this button. Uh, if you do end up using it in a project uh, commercially, or if you just want to support me, I have a sponsorship. Um, so dollar a month, I'll take it. Um, and right now, GitHub is matching. So like, whatever you do, give me gets doubled. So that's super awesome. Um, yeah, if you uh, have any questions or whatever, um, post them in the group. I'll try to respond, but I honestly get quite a few requests. So um, yeah, see you on the next one.